It's Scott Brown here, and today's exciting episode. Next up on the list of things to do on this job is, well I've written it up here on the whiteboard. Framing inspection, subfloor inspection, and weatherboards. So basically we need to get everything ready for those inspections, and once they've been passed, we can start sorting out the weatherboards. So with those beams going up, you know, most of the rooms are forming, but there is a, another beam to go up actually, and it involves intruding on our smoker room. Hello there. Morning. So the big beam is going to go up here, and the doorway is going to be a lot bigger. So the roof struts are the reason we're putting all these beams. Um, if you looked at the last couple of episodes, we had to rebuild the roof struts onto the new beams. Well, it's the same with this one. Here's the beams that we've done, and this is the one going into the smoker room. And because it's going all the way over to there, that's why we put these two posts in. That was the post that Rich spent a whole day on. <laughs> all right. There's the roof strut going onto the wall. So this is where the beam's going. From this wall out to beyond that strut. And we've got to get a stud up this wall here without damaging much of this. There is a chance that we might need to remove some parts of the ceiling to prop and also to put the new studs in. Let's see how we go, eh? This door's coming right out, but we do our best to keep all the facings and Architraves and everything. Sometimes they break, the timber's so dry. But we've managed to keep quite a few things. Whether we use them or not is another story, but do our best to keep them, you know. Ah! Split. There we go. A little split at the top, still usable. There we go. Intact. So that is the wall there that we're uh, taking most of the studs out of. There's that brace that we looked at before. Well, we're putting this on and we're hoping this line of props is going to take the place of this line while we put the beam in anyway. Oh, hi there. So this is the propping we're doing on the inside. Propping out here, propping out here. Now this piece of wood here is going to be exactly in line with the piece of wood we put on top. Good painter will fix the screw holes there, Potter. Oh, mate. Oh, did it? Yep. So this is pretty much ready now. First, lunchtime. Hey Adrian. Hey Scott, how you going? Good, how are you? Yeah, good. 
Good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Say hi to the YouTube. Audience. Hey, there you go. This is uh, Adrian from Milwaukee. Coming to drop off some Christmas presents, right? Yes. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is uh, Dust Extraction Solutions as well. Oh, so yeah. It's a net you're looking at on Saturday. So, uh, oh, so it goes to the drill. On yes, yes, plus drills. So when you're um, drilling away, you don't get the silicosis or silica dust in your lungs. The awesome dust shroud for the oh, 125 for the grinder. Mil grinder as well. Damn, bro. Yeah. You look after your lungs and health, right? That's and very as true. Well. So if you're doing What's any that? sort of war application and you've got something a bit larger diameter, attach it to your um, vacuum, drill away, and it mm. sucks all the dust. That's the hose that connects to the... Dust extraction? Absolutely. I'm all about dust extraction. It's all about good. it. And hey, got a grinder. Grinder as well. That's gonna and son. <laughs> that, that's a compact version, would probably do a lot of 80% of what you do. Yep. But we need an extra 20% more performance. Oh, power. Yep. Jump yep. Up to that so it's a power have. difference, not a diameter difference? No, the diameter is the same. Yep. Yep. So when you go compact, do you know you? Lose a little bit of power, yeah. but when you go to something a bit bigger, it's gonna yeah. push it. All right, yeah. thanks, man. And a dead battery for you as well. Huh. There to go. Look at that. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate it. Definitely. All good. <laughs> <laughs> it's Adrian from Milwaukee. He's the one who hooked me up with this nail gun that I've been trying over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> now a bunch of grinders and stuff. So. Grinders, dust extraction. I've been looking for ways to get dust extraction on a grinder and I went to the event and I saw the way they did it and I thought, oh, that looks really cool. And I said that to Adrian and he goes, oh, I can send you one. And when I was at the event, he also goes, oh, we've set this up for you. The Milwaukee Packout System. And at first I was like, look, I've got nowhere to put that. You know, my van isn't set up for that kind of thing. So it's probably wasted on me. And then he said, oh, that's fine, that's fine. But then when he showed me it, he'd filled it up with blades and chalk lines and pens and uh, I had to take it. I had to take it. So I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm, I'm really appreciative of it. It's good for holding screws and materials on site. You know, it doesn't have to go in the van. All right, let's take this wall out. Oh. Hey, got the buggy. Let's go. Oh yeah. There you go. Appreciate Five it. Hello. 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 You excited, eh? Oh, 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 what's this one for? Looking yeah. sharp with a new haircut there, Richard. Yeah, mate. I thought I'd better up my game if I want to get more followers. Eh? You got to, you got to start trying to attract the girls. Boom, cut that one there. Just that cut and that cut. Sweet, both those? Yeah. Thanks, bro. Drill with the square drive. I need to pull this out. Can you pass us up the drill down there behind you? Now, since we have a beam up there now, all these studs can go. After all that work, now is the reveal. Take the props out and see if the house falls down or not.
چاپ آدم <laughs> you need three nails for it? Yeah, please. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Now you gotta pull them out. Oh, oh yeah, it doesn't have a nail pull, damn it. <laughs> oh, they stay in there forever. Oh no. <laughs> Boom.